What's cracking, fam? What's cracking, fam? Good morning, good morning, good morning. If you woke up, you are blessed, fam. If you woke up, you are blessed. And when you wake up, give thanks and praise to the creator and the ancestors. Most definitely, fam. Welcome to the Black Cat TV show. This little short one's going to be about loyalty. The loyalty in the way. You know what I'm saying? There was, um, uh, not there was, there's a rapper. A rapper called Oskino. Last name Basquez, right? One of them black Puerto Rican dudes, you know what I'm saying? And I was from Philadelphia. He was a part of um, Rockefeller Records, right? Rockefeller Records, state property, did everything. You know, Jay-Z signed him. $750,000, he gave him. $750,000, he gave him about 19, 20 years old. So the dude had it going on, right? But um, his career, was always being set back for some other reason, for, some, for, for reasons, some night for his own. It's just his karma, right? But um, in the interview, I've got who it was. It could have been, um, uh, what's the di- art of dialogue, I believe. I forget who it was. But anyway, the question was about Beanie Siegel, him going to court back in 2003, you know what I'm saying? He's going to court, fighting his case. And um, the judge asked Jay Z, would you be responsible for him? You know, I'll let you. I'll let Beanie Siegel out of jail if you say that you're responsible for him. And Jay Z said, "No, I'm not going to be held responsible for him." Right? Okay, boom. So Beanie says he was shattered. He's like, "Damn, big bro, you no know, one could got me out of here." You know what I'm saying? Well, she know he's saying the same thing. Like, wow, you know, I'm a jail dude. So therefore, from perspective, from a jail person or a street dude or a real person. He would say, man, get, get that man in that guy in jail, no matter what. You know what I'm saying? So now I turned him on this morning, you know what I'm saying? He took my morning shit, you know what I'm saying? And I turned on Dolly Diamonds on. And he's talking about it. He said, Jay-Z wasn't loyal to BC who revisited. Or was he? Only looked at maybe, let me see, it's still on my goddamn screen here. Only looked at maybe a couple minutes of this shit there. About five, five, six minutes of it. I've been skipping through it. Because I know he's talking about it. You know, he's out there vouching for Jay-Z. But Jay-Z looked out for him enough. Huh? Jay-Z, that disloyal Brooklyn motherfucker, the same as his goddamn dude here, talking to shit with Jay-Z. They love Jay-Z. Huh? Who's Jay-Z? Hove. Stop calling this dude Hove. Find a definition of Hove, what that means, and come here, get back to me, right? But Jay-Z's a sucker. You know what I'm saying? You don't leave your man in no goddamn jail. Okay, he got that head to do it there. 13 months, whatever it is, he had to go do. He was already inside trying to get out. And you come there, like same as Ogino Ocino said, what the hell Jay-Z come to, um, to the court for? You know? You testify, say it's not, but was Thomas vouch to get your man out of here? Nah, I ain't be held responsible for him. This dude is signed to you. You got some power over him. You know what I'm saying? That's your homie. You know what I'm saying? You could put him up somewhere. Those have houses, condos, and NYC. Say this, be like this here. Dude, you ain't going outside no goddamn well. You know, you're gonna stay in the house. We're gonna bring you some bud, some bruise, whatever it is. Bring a piece of ass over, unless he's mad, girl. Whatever. You know, the girl come over and you just lay fucking low. You know, you lay low. If you do not lay low, you do anything stupid at all, we cut you off this goddamn thing. You know, you be down Rockefeller more. Nothing at all. I'm sure you. He would um, do what he was supposed to do. You know what I'm saying? He said, yes, I was um, off the chain, bugging out. But Doug Adams comes from shit said, would you vouch for someone who's smoking weed, who's drinking lean and parking perks and shit like this here? He signed a goddamn um, a lane. You know? He signed a goddamn lane with that shit there. So when someone is he's taking that, would you vouch for him? So what you say is someone is smoking weed, drinking lean, or whatever it is, they're not vouchable? No. That they're not worthy to get out of a goddamn jail. This is your boy. You know what I'm saying? This is not some dude you just um someone just say, hey, would you vouch for him? Like, I don't really know this dude, you know, like, like a job reference or some shit. So if we can't get a reference, you're like, nah, I don't really know you. That's something different. It's the jail system. You a street dude, Jay. So you supposed to be out there moving some work. You don't want to have nobody in jail, because what they about he never did no goddamn jail time. I bet if he had some did some jail time, he would say things the other way and probably got being single release of the jail that day. You know, that day. So here nothing from throwing diamonds talking about what what being single situation was. 
You got money like these dudes said. I don't understand why the judge ain't asking someone else. I mean, Dame Dash may put stick the hands out. I do it, nah, whatever, you know what I'm saying? I seen Dame Dash go to court for some time too. But after that, we seen Dame Dash trying to come at him. But B Seagull said in one interview that he just thinking B C that Dame Dash coming at him just for the opportunity, for the money. You know what I'm saying? Mm. But we see how the state property will have to um these guys' career. The career went down the goddamn drain. There's no more after um Rockefeller records from guys. They, they were done. You know what I'm saying? But hey, they had a good run. But they had a good run. But to ask you this question, my out there. If you had a homie, a friend, your friend, he smokes some weed, drinks lean, sniffs coke, whatever it is, but he's not a, a bad, bad person. You know, if he was a bad person, he wouldn't, he wouldn't have to hang around you, right? So then he get locked up inside some jail, and the judge asks you, say, yo, homie, would you vouch for him? You might say, huh. This dude, he might do something stupid, but um, a man to man, that's my boy. I'm gonna got them. I'm getting him out of that goddamn jail. And that's what Jay Z said. Jay Z should have done. You know what I'm saying? Should be no kind of discussion, no kind of debate. Or someone on the internet talking about, oh, he did enough for him. Well, he had enough. What's enough for him? Huh? They did enough for Jay Z. You know what I'm saying? What Jay Z do? They made Jay Z. Uh, yeah, they made Jay Z was made. It wasn't for Dame Dash State Property. You ain't hear about no goddamn Jay Z. You know what I'm saying? He couldn't get a goddamn record deal. <laughs> he couldn't get a goddamn record deal. Oh, shipped him around it. Jazz, oh, goddamn Dame Dash, all his record company. It's like, nah, what the garbage shit. You know what I'm saying? Everyone sees the Jay Z now that's rapping uh, the way he do now. But back in the days, he's trying to um, shop them demos and things like that. They had a different raps, rap flow. He had that, like the Fushnikins, like DOS effects. It was like, da 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 da. He kept trying to copycat these other dudes' flow. It was garbage. Of course, they was going to sign this jump ass, that bullshit. You know what I'm saying? They had to be remade. The Harlem Brothers had to take him like a goddamn one with Play Doh. Like Mr. Potato had to make him, you know what I'm saying? And make a Jay Z. And then, for as him making him, he would need some more people around him. Who did he have? Memphis Bleak. That was it. Huh? Memphis Bleak. Hmm. If Jay-Z was so, the Dawn, whatever it is, why them all, all the Brooklyn cats got put on? Huh? Yeah, what he at? He ain't put shit on. <laughs> he ain't do a goddamn thing. So I can praise this dude all oh, you want. You can praise him as well. He was made like a Mr. Potato Head. You know what I'm saying? He's not, he's not the one. He's not the one. He's disloyal. He's disloyal. You know what I'm saying? These guys made you lots of money. They Rockefeller, Rockaway. They was the, the street cred to this dude here. All you do is hear about street stories about uh, what Jay Z did. Uh, he he so cold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He didn't do no jail time. No, he had nothing was going on. You know, he got robbed and things. Everyone get robbed and stuff. But it's nothing about that. But um, we not hear nothing. We see no street shit. He wasn't like no kind of BDC who busting at cops and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Nah, 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 nah. But he need that that um that street behind him. And that's what state property was. You know what I'm saying? When Dipset came, he was like, ah. he was upset. Why? Because he had no swag. He was an L. He's a, he's a, he's a um, goddamn L7. You know, then the swag came in from the Harlem boys. You know what I'm saying? Dipset. Yeah, they brought they bring all the swag there. Dame Dash, they brought the swag there. Jay Z has no swag. Look at him. He can even dress goddamn now. Let's see, he's got um, these homosexual fashion designs. Those are dressed as the stupid ass looking like a goddamn, um, what's that, the, um, the artist Basque? You trying to look like? Yeah. I don't know nothing about this Basque do. I don't know. I certainly trying to look like this guy here. Anyway, that's what short about Jay Z. This loyal ass, letting leaving Beanie Seagull inside the jail, you know, to rot. And his homeboy, Doggy Diamonds, to talk some shit to him. Well, he did enough for Beanie Seagull. You gotta watch these brother motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? You gotta watch, especially them, them little best that dudes. You gotta watch these dudes. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I never been in school with these dudes here. Back, back in the 80s, I was, I was hanging a lot of broken dudes. You know what I'm saying? So I know I'm talking about them. You gotta watch these best that dudes. I said, I bet they're from here from Pet Stop. I see. The Brooklyn motherfuckers I roll with always said this here, always being Brownsville pop. Fort Green pop, most definitely. A few of them um, best I do is cool, but um, hey, whatever, whatever. I bet from Pet Stop, I'm going to go goddamn with my mouthpiece. It's bullshit.